I studied political science. But that doesn't mean that I can be a politician. You can study politics and go and be in the administration or do something else. I, I happened to marry someone who happened to be a politician as well. He contested for the presidential primaries of the NRC and the SDP in 1992. And um, the responsibility became mine now to help him campaign. And that really launched, launched me into politics because I now discovered moving from one hamlet to the other, you will now go there and see the real Nigerians in, in, their, in, in, in their homes and you will feel very sorry. For, 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 for everybody, not only for them, but for us as leaders. Uh, so when I did that campaign, I really understand that these people need help. Then you will begin to wonder, how do I make a difference uh, in these people's lives? That was when I really began to think about getting involved into serious politics. We realized that we have the national policy on women. It was not good enough. Mm. All the issues that need to be taken into account were not there. <laughs> so we sat down and with the help of some donor agencies, uh, we set up a small committee to look into the national policy on women, uh, how we can improve on it. So we assembled some experts, some NGOs, and were able to package the national gender policy. We, in fact, insisted on getting focal point officers in the ministries to ensure that budgets in the ministries are gender sensitive. We need to do a lot of advocacy to sensitize at least three groups of stakeholders, the traditional rulers, the governors, that's the executive arm of government and the legislatures, and also women groups in the state. So I embarked on advocacy in the 36 states of the federation. Each state I go to, my first port of call will be the ruling, the, the, the emir, the chief, or the, the chairman of the council of chiefs in the state to sit there and tell them the importance of supporting women in politics, the need, the need for us to support women, why we must do it. In some zones, they refused. They were bringing all, all men. So one day, we were ha going to have a next meeting. So I just got up and I went to the door and I said, every zone, if you have not complied with the constitution, then all the five people are not going to enter the next, they're not going to participate. Uh, and uh, they had to plead, say, okay, just leave this one, let it go, but next we are going to correct it. And believe me, it was corrected. You find girls coming up out with the first class honors, and you have equal opportunity to employment and so many other things. But when it comes to politics, that's when the problem starts. It's not easy for women uh, for us to participate effectively in politics, but we thought that it's important for us to hold, have this training program uh, so that we can train them on how to uh, do their campaign, how to raise funds, how to build self-confidence, and a lot of things that are required for a successful politician. You must not be part of the mainstream. Is that okay? You must have a new message, a new template. My achievement, if there is any, is uh, educating people about the need to allow young girls or women to go into politics. Oh, I think the workshop came at the right time. 
uh, the information here that women from various states and localities don't have. For example, the affirmative action. If you ask 10 women what it really means, nine will get it wrong. For many women, they are hungry for information. As you know, they say information is power. When I was the minister, I learned one thing. You would come across a lot of women who will say, oh, how are you able to do it? I want to be a politician, but I, I don't know. I'm too shy. I cannot talk. I don't know how to go and address people. So I now say to myself, we have a lot of women who want to contest, who want to go into politics, but they don't even know how to go about it. I say we need to establish some training centers for female politicians. We came up with an idea how to implement it. And I took it one day to Mr. President. And uh, he said, well, I don't want any wahala from any woman. What do you want? I said, Your Excellency, we need to establish some centers for women that will assist women. Is that all you want? I said, yes, bring it. And he didn't even look at it. He just signed it for me. And that was great. I could not believe my luck. I was so happy that at least we'll be able to do something. So that was how we started thinking of the Zonal Women Centers, where we will now see how we can empower women with the tools to go out there and seek for political appointment. It is something that I'm very, very proud of.